Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build this micro cow breeder. This is a simple to construct, resource friendly and space efficient design and this is pretty much the entire thing right here. This works because we change our approach to how we breed and kill the animals, which is something I'll come back to in a second. First of all I want to let you know that this was inspired by a comment that I got on my smart animal breeder video. This is the smart animal breeder right here. The comment was along the lines of why do you have all of the adult cows at the bottom, that's silly, you should have them in the same area as the baby cows and just kill the adult cows. And at first I thought, that's ridiculous, what are you talking about? But the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. If we change our approach to how we organise the cows when we're breeding them, then we can actually make this thing really small. So if we come back over here and have a look at this one, we've got a lava dispenser at the top there. If we were to do that right now, we would kill all of the adults in there, which would be disastrous for our farm. But if we were to breed them first of all, then we would have a bunch of baby cows that wouldn't be affected by the lava at the top. We would get our drops instantly, and then we would have a bunch of baby cows that could be bred again to get the numbers of this farm back up. So it means we get our drops instantly, and we also save a ton of space. So now we're going to talk about this farm in terms of usage with the controls it has at the front but also the management of the cows in comparison to a farm like this. So this one over here is kind of foolproof, you know you've got your cedar cows at the top so unless you're going to go running around up there hitting them with a diamond sword they're basically always going to be safe from the lava down below which is not the case with this farm right here. With this one you need to manage your cows, you need to keep their numbers up and then you need to breed them before you harvest them. So that's what we're going to do first of all. If we press the button at the bottom, we'll activate this dispenser, and the cows are going to bob up and down because they're in water, which makes it very easy for you to breed them. So before you harvest this machine, you always want to breed them so that there's some baby cows that will survive. So once you've done your breeding, you can pop down below, turn off the dispenser with the water, and then we're going to activate with the one with the lava above. Now the way to use this is to hold down right click for a certain amount of time and I would definitely recommend doing some practice before you actually go and use this on your cow farm. It's pretty easy, you've got a visual cue from the lever going up and down uh, but it does take a little bit of practice to get the timing right. So you hold down right click like that and then you see that the, um, the cows got set on fire and now we have to wait for them to die. So there they go, the baby cows have survived down at the bottom and all of the drops have instantly gone down into this chest. Before we start the tutorial, I want to make it really clear that you must take caution when using this. You always have to breed them before you harvest. That's so you've got some baby cows to survive. But every time you do that, you're going to have less baby cows than you had adults in there. So that means you've got to breed them from time to time just to get the numbers up. So this takes a little bit of management and precaution. But as long as you follow those principles, you'll always have plenty of cows in there. And then when you do go to use this to get some drops, you'll actually get them instantly, which is a very nice touch. So you won't be surprised, but building this thing is really easy. All you need is a 3x4 space. The area at the front here is actually for the controls and the ladders that go on the front. And then this thing is going to be 4 blocks tall as well. But you'll need everything that you see inside this chest, including the chest as well, to build the contraption. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to put blocks around the outside like this in that gap behind the chest. That's where our hopper goes, pointing into the chest, of course. Then we want to build this up around like so, leaving a gap on that side over there for our dispensers. So we'll place those facing into the middle, put two blocks of glass right here, then around the top a ring of half slabs, and then at the front on one side we've got our two ladders, on the other one we've got the lever at the top and the button down below. And that's not all, we've also got to put the water and the lava into the dispensers. So the water goes in at the bottom, the lava goes in at the top, we can give this thing a quick test. So the water appears to work just fine. Let's hold down right click on the lever, and there you go, you can see the lava works fine as well. And with every animal farm video I've ever done, there is a question that always comes up. How do you get the cows into the farm? The answer is really simple. You want to build a temporary structure above it that's like a water basin. Now you don't have to build this out of quartz, so you'll probably build this out of dirt so it's nice and easy to take apart, but it's real simple. We've got a load of water here that's going to push the cows down into this trap so they can fall down into the farm. You can see there we've got a sign to hold back the water and that is pretty much the concept. So you can either use leads to get them into the water or you can use some wheat and simply lure them in. You can see they all walk into the water and eventually they'll push each other until one by one they fall down the hole. 
So that's it for this Minecraft tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like. It will be greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out the tutorials playlist for other animal breeding farms and awesome contraptions. But that's going to be it from me this video. There's a well download in the description box. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.